Canadians have a right to know not only where their tax dollars are going, but also that they are being used appropriately. My Conservative colleagues and I are working to scrutinize the government spending, and one way I will keep you updated is through this regular By the Numbers review. This next installment focuses on McKinsey & Company. On January 4th, the CBC reported that over the last eight years in power, the Liberal government spent $66 million on government contracts with McKinsey. Less than two weeks later, an article in the Globe and Mail raised the total to over $100 million. Finally, another Globe and Mail article on January 31st reported that between November 2016 to February 2022, the Canadian government made up between 5 to 10 percent of McKinsey Canada's total revenue. This brings the estimates of how much taxpayers have spent on this company to at least $116.8 million. As it currently stands, the Liberals have given this company more than 50 times the amount they were contracted for under the Harper government in less time. This money is coming from multiple contracts across different government departments and is for work that could have been provided by the public service. What is the government for if we're contracting out core public service delivery to these largely unaccountable private firms who have a profit motive? Public servants have even described the work done by McKinsey in the media as generic, vapid and not realistic. This is clearly not providing good value for money for Canadians. It has become very clear that over the last few years, McKinsey has developed a special relationship with this government. One of the things that is really important in this complicated job is to have someone doing it who can pick up the phone at any time and speak directly to the Prime Minister, speak directly to me, someone who has that personal connection and a personal connection built up over time. McKinsey provided all their work on the Finance Minister's Economic Advisory Council pro bono, and the chair of that council was the then global managing partner of McKinsey, Dominic Barton. Mr. Barton also revealed a long-standing friendship with the Deputy Prime Minister. Would you consider yourself a friend of uh, Christia Freeland? I knew Christia Freeland when she worked at the FT, so I knew her from before, uh, so I did, I did know her. It is a concern to my colleagues and I that McKinsey and Company also has a reputation around the world for flouting ethical and moral lines. They are currently under investigation in France over campaign financing. They have ties to authoritarian regimes. They've paid out hundreds of millions of dollars in settlements in the United States over their role in the opioid epidemic. Why is Justin Trudeau's government continuing to do business with such a corrupt company? Many questions remain, including why the government can't confirm exactly how much taxpayer money they have given to McKinsey, and why the Liberals are so reliant on consultants rather than the public service Canadians already pay for. One thing is clear, though. While Canadians have been focusing on making ends meet, Liberal insiders and high-priced consultants at McKinsey have never had it so good. This is why my colleagues and I on the Government Operations Committee continue to investigate these contracts. So far, we've questioned former Global Managing Partner of McKinsey, Dominic Barton, the Minister of Public Services and Procurement, and the President of the Treasury Board. We will continue to monitor exactly what the Liberals are doing with your taxpayer dollars and hold them accountable in the House of Commons.